Episode 10, Nina the Thief 4. I should say, like, Part 4. That just says 4. I am now frustrated. Because I am in a dis disadvantageous position, although I have gained more than what I originally... Uh, thought I would. Hunting with the presence of others is uncomfortable. However, the quest rewards have been flowing into my pockets easily. Because goblins sometimes kidnap humans and cause destruction, the quest is to subdue them is always high. For killing ten goblins, I could get one silver moon coin. My daily income from hunting goblins amounts to three silver coins. On top of that, I was now hunting inside a cave. I don't know about... I didn't know about this place before, even when I would usually come to nearby area to gather herbs. This place isn't exactly a simple cave. It was a labyrinth, or a dungeon. If I if one was to explore it uh, cautionlessly, one would have fallen victim to poisonous traps that are scattered around. It'd be suicidal for me to enter alone, but with Nina here, she can disarm the traps. What? Inside the dungeon, there are not only goblins, orcs, war bats, goblin soldiers, goblin knights, uh, and thanks to that, they're not only goblins. Orcs, war bats, goblin soldiers, goblin knights, and thanks to that, I could deprive their skills. My stats have increased tremendously. Name, Yusato. Race, human. Oh, I didn't read the status. It's a status window. <laughs> Job, none. Level 8, HP, 52, MP, 63. Strength, 16. Agility, 23. Vitality, 20. Intelligence, 29. Magic, 16. Luck, 1. Still only got 1 luck. Passive skills, swordsmanship, level 2. Physical strength, up, level 3. Awareness, level 2. Active skills, body enhancement, level 2. Black magic, level 1. White magic, level 1. Short sword strike, level 1. Blacksmith, level 1. Alchemy, level 1. Special skills, unknown world, magic eyes, level 2. Depriver, level 1. Swordsmanship is increased from depriving goblin soldiers. Physical strength, up from oryx, and awareness from warbats. Um. Hmm. Since I've gotten no awareness... Nina couldn't stalk me so easily anymore. From this one month alone, I have gained more than I could have wished for. It's a good idea to team up with you. See? What did I tell you? Probably wouldn't have mattered if I had partied up with others. You... <laughs> Nina then pouted. However, I wouldn't make a party with anyone else. I don't trust others. I still don't trust Nina either. In this one month, 80% of the bath was completed. It won't take much longer to finish it. Although getting wood from the forest was easy, designing and putting it together was another story. In this one month, there was no increase in blacksmith and alchemy, too. It is normally... Is it normally this hard to increase a skill? When the bath was finished, Grandma Stella was the only one that was really pleased. I added an iron plate to the bottom of the tub so it could produce warm water if heated. After I finished making the bath, I heard someone arguing inside the forest. I found Nina with two other people. They were the Mish brothers. They used to be in the same party as Hage. Nina, won't you tell us what happened? Why should I? I want you to listen to us. You don't want something bad to happen to that brat or that old woman, do you? You don't even know where he hides. You think we're fools? You go to uh, you go with him to that cave every day. We know that Hage's missing. He has something to do with it. Hage going missing is finally linked to me. I use this time to inspect their statuses. Status window. Name, Natsmish. Race, human. Jobs, job, none. Level 8. HP, 75. MP, 20. Strength, 35. Agility, 16. Vitality, 41. Intelligence, 9. Magic, 10. Luck, 7. Passive skills. Spear mastery, level 1. Active skills. Body enhancement, level 1. Spear strike, level 1. Special skills, none. Status window. Coco Mish. Race, human. Job, none. Level, 9. HP, 81. MP, 13. Strength, 50. Agility, 13. Vitality, 20... Uh, fucking... <laughs> Vitality, 47. Intelligence, 9. Magic, 13. Luck, 7. Passive skills, Axe Mastery, level 1. Active skills, Body Enhancement, level 1. Axe Cleave, level 1. Special skills, none. Just from looking at their statuses, Nina would have no trouble running away. BAM! Along with this sound, Nina fell to the ground. She was bleeding from her nose. What is she just... Why is she just laying? Like, why is she just laying there like an idiot? If you don't want to tell us anything, then it means you can keep your secrets. No one will know what is going on, right? The brothers were smiling with lustful eyes. Why are you protecting that boy? They asked that while kicking her. There's no benefit to you, right? Nina just curled up there with a bloodied face. <laughs> Brother, she's not resisting. We could do her. Do her. <laughs> they then tried to tore. They try then tried to tore off her leather armor. Please stop. Nina was crying and trembling when she said that. Don't worry, we'll make sure you get lots of love. Just listen to us and being an being be an obedient girl. Suddenly, they felt bloodlust coming from behind them. They quickly took their spear and axe and readied themselves. It was you. He was holding a longsword in his hand. You. Why? 
You... Why? <laughs> Why? Nina couldn't believe he came to save her. I just happened to be passing by. Oh, look what we got here. You can't run away. You... That longsword and leather armor. It's Hage's! All enraged, Coco lunged forward to attack you. It's rotten, brat! That garbage Nina! I'll kill you! You wasn't wavered. He attacked... He activated the sword strike. It was a skill that lets one attack twice. He aimed at Coco's neck and belly. Clank! The blow to the stomach was parried by the axe, but the blow to the neck was unexpected. Blood had splurged out from the clean cut, and soon Coco's body fell to the ground. Ew! That's a sword strike! How could you have used that? You didn't even take a stance before activating it! Nut still hasn't recovered from his shock. His brother was killed in front of him, and the young brat used his skill in such a way. However, Yu wasn't a very patient boy. He approached him and swung his sword downwards. Yu Nuts tried to block the attack out of reflex, but a spear is not a weapon suited for parrying or blocking. Wait! wait. Uh, Nuts was saying that when Yu's sword sliced through the spear and planted itself down into Nuts's head. Yu... Yu... Nina's clung to Yu while he took out a cloth and wiped her face clean. Why didn't you run away? Why didn't you fight back? You know, I have a trauma towards men. I hate them. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm just reading the notes. <laughs> you then laughed, you know, the me who helped you is a man too. That didn't count. Silence fell between them. While Nina smiled, you, said, you who said so was confused. How could you smile in such a situation? Because, what, you came to save me. We're friends. It's natural for me to help you. When he said that, the edges of you's mouth cur curved upwards a little. Ah... Uh, Oh, they're they're close. <laughs> he just killed two people right in front of you. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> in their heads too. <laughs> like <laughs> that's he went straight for the neck. That's gotta be bloody. <laughs> the other guy, like straight into the skull. That's like <laughs> mortifying. <laughs> He's a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> this story is great.